Hello SPATubers! This short video is an introduction for people that if you want to learn to play Minecraft with their kids or just int getting introduced to it. Uh, for myself, I grew up on Atari 2600 and whatnot, so it took a, takes a little time to adapt to play Minecraft. So this is the screen that you see when you first pop in. You can do single player. If you have a Realms account, you play Realms. That means you play with your friends. So um, if you have kids or something, probably they want a Realms account. But let's start off with a single player. You see I have a number of worlds here. If you, you won't have this when you first log in, but you would create a new world. And you can choose from survival. And this survival is the one that has the monsters and whatnot that you have to fight. But you can, hardcore is if you die, you don't come back and you lose your world forever. Creative is you can fly, you have access to all of the building blocks in the game. Um, and if you put your difficulty here to peaceful, that means the monsters don't exist. They don't spawn, they don't come after you. You're probably just going to want to start a new world and hit create new world. I already have one created just for this demonstration. So it's a Gen X how to. And I've set up a few things here for us to look at. So first off, to control yourself, to control your player in the game, uh, WASD, right? So W is forward, S is back, A is left, D is strafe right. And then you can use your mouse to look around. I grew up play, uh, flying a lot of radio control airplanes. I like it to pull back when I look up and push down. That's called inverting the Y axis. If you want to pull back to look up and push down. And you can do that by Hopping into your options and going into your controls. And here's where you can change your mouse settings and all of that stuff. Invert mouse makes it so you pull back and look up. Okay, you can change your view and all that stuff. Again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time um, going into details. We can hit those later. It's made for another video. First off, a day is about 20 minutes in real time and the monsters come out at night. If you're in survival mode, there are monsters at night and they come get you. So there's zombies and skeletons and spiders and things. And important to remember, spiders don't attack you during the daytime when they're in the sun, but they do attack at night or if they're in the shadows. There are no rules. This is one of my favorite things about Minecraft is there's no rules to playing Minecraft. There's no proper way to play. There's no good way. There's no bad way. It just is what it is. So you can play as mellow as you want. You can just build, you can fish, you can do whatever, or you can take on big challenges and go for those ender dragons and all the action. Uh, there are tools, shelter, and food sort of in an order of priority. You can see down bottom here, I have these pieces of ham uh, or whatever that is. And that's how hungry I am. And the hearts are how much health I have, like hit points in old Dungeons and Dragons. That's exactly what that is. If you get hungry enough, you'll start losing hearts, depending on the difficulty that you have your game set on. So the first thing we knew I want to do is make some tools. And for that, we're going to start off with wood. And you essentially you go through all of the ages of human development here, right? So we start with easiest things to make stuff out of is wood. And then we move on to stone, and we enter the stone age, and then we move on to iron and enter the iron age. When you're whacking down these trees, you can do it with your bare hand. I know it doesn't make sense. You take out when you take out that top bit, this tree will start to deteriorate. All those leaves will start dropping either apples or sticks or uh, sp sprouts for baby trees. We're gonna get a wood pickaxe and then get stone to make tools. To make stone, we're gonna essentially we're going to enter the stone age. So if you throw this block up here in this crafting area, you get oak planks. For each one, you get four. We'll take a bunch of those. If you can't remember any of these recipes, Minecraft added this book here and it can show you all of the stuff that you can make. Four of these makes a crafting table. So we gotta grab that, put it in the inventory. And then left click to plop it down. And that gives us these nine blocks here. 
to operate with. Two of these make a stick. Two sticks, three planks makes a pickaxe. And again, all of the recipes are here. If you want to make any of these things, you can make a shovel, a hoe, an axe, a sword. You just click on it and it will automatically set the recipe up here if you can make it and you just pull it out. But first, what we're going to do is find some stones. Oh look, there's coal and stones here. So, pop. Uh, the space button, it makes you swim or jump. So we're going to grab some stones. Once you mine them, they turn into cobblestones. And we can also mine this coal here, which will come in handy a little later. I'm going to grab a few of these stones with my wooden pickaxe. Also, once you get the coal, you can take a stick and a piece of coal and make a torch. Make four torches, actually. And when you right-click this, you have light to see. And wherever there's light, monsters won't spawn. So, now that we have stones in our inventory, you can see these stone tools will show up here. So, same recipes. Two sticks, three stones. Um, I need some more sticks. So, before I can do any of this, I need to... Do some more sticks. All right, you click on that recipe now, and you can see it's not grayed out anymore. So I can just grab a stone axe. If I want to, I don't have to even have to put anything up there. I want to make a pickaxe. It's a stone pickaxe. We want to make a shovel. There's the shovel. And let's make a hoe. But you can also just pop these in like this. And if you don't want to have the book open. So there's a hoe. And next, we're going to make an oven. Uh, furnace, I'm sorry. So it's just in a square like that. And again, another one of those patterns that's, that's in this list over here. You start clicking through. There's the furnace. But it may not be immediately obvious why you would want a, this furnace. So we can plot that down. So in order for the furnace to work, you need coal in it. Okay. Um, so one of the top goals is tools, shelter, and food. So food, of course, comes in the forms of piggies. Or you can uh, piggies and sheep and whatnot. Or you can plant crops. So if we take out these piggies. Well then. Butcher the piggy and you get some food. So if we want to cook a pork chop, slap it up there. And it'll take uh, 10 seconds or something like that. And it'll cook. And then when you're hungry, you can just right click and eat that. If you are, if you start whacking this grass, you'll pick up seeds eventually. And there are a number of different seeds in Minecraft, but take your hoe and you right click and you can plant these in the ground like that. And they'll go up to wheat and three wheat makes a loaf of bread in the crafting block okay sheep produce wool and wool makes a bed right to move into the iron age this is iron ore and you'll find this underground or sometimes exposed but if you're not ready to start mining well this let's let's take a look at this if you're not ready to start mining ore you can just kill the sheep butcher the sheep and you will get wool. Alternately, with two 
high, raw iron in the furnace, you'll make iron ore. Iron ingots out of the iron ore. There we go. Now, hitting E, of course, brings up this inventory. I'm not sure if we talked about that. But two of these brings up the shears and the crafting. Same with the crafting table. And if you right click on your sheep, you can shear sheep. In the crafting table, we lay down three slabs, three pieces of wool, you get a bed. And the bed will save you from monsters. So if you sleep early at night, you avoid monster spawns. Right click and slap your bed down. It takes two squares. And at nighttime, you can just right click on it and sleep. And if you do it early enough in the night cycle, the monsters won't spawn. You'll just wake up. So, mine to get minerals for an upgrade. Did that to get the um, iron ore for that for the shears. But let's take a look at this, doing it this way. Again, we get the raw iron. Put it in your furnace with some coal. And it's going to make ingots. And then, just like with your um, wood and stone tools, you craft iron tools, and they're more durable. The same thing is, that, so that keeps going. The next step up would be diamonds. If you find them deep down in the ground, look out, sheep. So we got some examples of some ores here. This is redstone, but you can't mine it without iron. It'll just destroy your or so it is pretty important to upgrade to iron as soon as you can so you can have access to most of the ores right, so now you can see these other ores we can mine with this iron pickaxe it's more durable it's better. these are diamond blocks and this will get us three diamonds they don't need to be put in the furnace but three diamonds you can make a diamond pickaxe there we are and this will mine much faster and here's emeralds emeralds are handy for trading with villagers and there's, there's a few other things same with copper copper is kind of it's more useful than it used to be, but it's kind of low on the totem pole ore, but there it is. And you can refine it into copper blocks and you can now make other things with them in this new version of Minecraft. So the, to get a feel for the game, I would say log in on easy mode or even in peaceful mode and just get the feel for moving around, jumping, swimming and mining. And once you get those basics down, the game is a heck of a lot of fun. Dirt is soft. So you can just dig up dirt with a shovel. Or you can dig up sand with a shovel. Oh, look at that. It's starting to get nighttime. So we want to sleep early before the monsters come out. And you just pop up and it's morning. No monsters, no, no hassle. So yeah, um, building shelter, you can, there's a ton of videos on how to build a house out there, but pretty much it's just boxing yourself in to protect yourself from the monsters and using these recipes that are in here. Pop this out. You can make them out of slabs. Anything you find can be a building material, honestly. Um, this makes, this makes half slabs here. Or, okay, planks and slabs, I'm sorry. But really, building the core of building a house just turns into making walls out of these one meter blocks until it's enough for you to be inside. And of course, the more you play, the fancier this gets and the funner it gets. It's a lot of people like there's no wrong way to play. So a lot of people just like to play in peaceful mode with the monsters don't even spawn. You can just take your time and build and fish and 
get honey and do all of the things that Minecraft has to offer. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you like this, subscribe, and I'll have more basics for Gen Xers and learning Minecraft in the future. Thanks.